Hi, I'm Joel, and in this video I'll present to you my final project, AdaX, which is a system for domain-independent feature-based product review aggregation. That's quite a mouthful, so let's start with an example. Let's imagine you want to buy a mixer from Amazon. Product reviews, such as the one shown here, can be a valuable source of information about the product. However, they also contain a lot of unnecessary information, such as rambling and personal anecdotes. If we hide the text that's not related to the mixer in this review, we notice that almost half of the text is irrelevant, which makes for a frustrating user experience of reading these reviews. Another problem is knowing who to trust. There are typically both highly positive and highly negative reviews for a single product, and you can't possibly read each and every one of them because there might be thousands of reviews for a single product. This problem is usually addressed with various kinds of review aggregations. The star writing shown here is the most common, but this only gives an overall view of the sentiment towards a product. The sentiment towards the product's features and its various aspects can only be found in the review texts, which are tedious to read. My solution to this problem is AdaX, a chatbot application which can provide conversational information about any product and its features based on its reviews. Here, we demo AdaX for the same mixer we saw earlier. The user communicates with AdaX by selecting a question from a variety of options. The star rating of the mixer is quite high, so let's ask why the mixer was highly rated. So the mixer was highly rated because its motor was considered good, although its bowl was considered poor. We can now choose to ask further questions about the features. Well, why was the motor considered to be good? The motor's power was good, but its speed was poor. Okay, so why was the bowl considered to be poor then? The bowl was poor because the beaters were poor. Well, what did users say about the beaters being poor then? ADAX now gives us a specific phrase from a review explaining why the beaters were poor. So finally, we find out that it's because the beater misses the edge of the bowl. Using the information we've learned from this conversation, we can make a more educated purchase decision based on which aspects of the product are important to us. So how does all this work? ADAX is a generalized version of the argumentative dialogical agent, or ADA, proposed by my supervisor, Professor Francesca Toni, which has previously been explored for movie and hotel reviews. ADAX requires an ontology for the product, such as the one shown here for movies, which it uses to mine review aggregations from the review texts using sentiment analysis. Take for example these two sentences, where the acting was determined to be a positive aspect of the movie using sentiment analysis, while the writing was determined to be a negative aspect. Ada uses the ontology and the review aggregations to construct a quantitative bipolar argumentation framework, or QBAF, which consists of attack and support relations between the product's features. Here we see the QBAF constructed for the movie The Post, the review text mainly praised the acting, which means that it is a supporting subfeature of the movie, while the writing was thought to be poor, so it is an attacking feature. Using the QBAF, Ada can provide the user with conversational information about the movie's various aspects. Ada defines an argumentation dialogue, which consists of question and response templates, where the various features are inserted based on the QBAF. However, the movie ontology was manually annotated for Ada which makes it unsuitable for the more general domain of Amazon, where manually annotating ontologies for thousands of different products would be intractable. The main innovation of ADAX is a novel, fully autonomous general domain ontology extraction method, which can automatically obtain an ontology for any product from the review text. This novel method more than doubles the performance of text to onto another popular ontology extraction method, on ontologies extracted for Amazon's products. On this slide, we can see examples of ontologies completely automatically extracted by ADAX. For example, ADAX can distinguish that a video game has a storyline, graphics, and a gameplay, while a watch has a face which contains numbers and hands, and a band which can be made out of leather or links. The ontology extraction pipeline consists of several natural language processing tasks, including two neural network classifiers based on the state-of-the-art BERT language model. Each of the tasks is quite involved, but if you're interested, they are detailed in my project report, which is linked in the description. Using this pipeline, ADAX can automatically extract an ontology for a product from its review texts, which enables it to provide explanations for any product. Most of the magic of ADAX happens on the backend server, where the ontology extraction, QBAF extraction, and conversational agent processes communicate via two databases. 
the conversational agent then handles the communication with the user-facing explanation interface. The QBAF constructed by ADAX can easily be adapted to various different explanation interfaces, such as the conversational and graph-based ones shown here. A user trial proved that ADAX improves the user experience of browsing product reviews, and that its explanations can be communicated via different user interfaces for different purposes. Joel's project built upon a uh, research paper uh, by my group at Imperial College London. Uh, it extended it considerably to develop a, a novel uh, state-of-the-art recommender system uh, that incorporates uh, techniques from machine learning, natural language processing, symbolic AI, uh, while also building upon solid software engineering foundations. Uh, the outcome of the project is truly remarkable and I warmly congratulate uh, Joel for it. Well done.